Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for February 2023. We're going to take a look at energies from your past, what are current influences around you, opportunities to look at what's the likely outcome and then therefore what does that outcome make you feel like. And we'll also get you some oracle cards towards the end and some guidance from your spirit team. So stick with me till the end Aquarius. So stick with me till the end Aquarius. Okay, I'm going to start pulling out your cards now. Okay. Queen of Swords and the Nine of Cups. I'm just going to get all the cards out on the table and then we get right into your reading. At the bottom of the deck, I've got the Four of Cups Aquarius. So interesting. Let's get into your messages, Aquarius. The first two cards are more about, you know, how you show up in love in the month of February. So what you're seeking and how you want to be in the month of February when it comes to love is be very, very clear and a little bit, I think, aloof as well. I don't think a lot of you want to actively engage in uh, love or like a romantic endeavor. I think if you're single in the month of February, you're still doing the work to get clarity on what is it that you're looking for in love, what works for you, what doesn't. And how you're showing up is in uh, correlation with that. You're showing up in a way that you're self-fulfilled, you're okay by yourself, you're happy kind of doing the inner work and thinking about these big questions about love, right? Like, do I want to be in a partnership? And if so, why? If not, why? And I think you're really focusing on being happy within your own self and figuring out how you can be the source of your own happiness, Aquarius, which is really, really nice and very positive. Let me just get some clarifiers before we go deeper into your spread. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, I think some of you are focused a lot on work. Um, or if you're in a particular situation, you're trying to get clear as to how you can make this work and how you can continue to make this work. But how you're showing up and how you're behaving when it comes to romantic love is you're focused on yourself. Uh, I think you are focusing a lot on, you know, your physical appearance, maybe some of you are hitting that gym and trying to get super fit, focusing on your diet, uh, maybe some of you, you know, get like a new haircut, like you do something with your physical appearance in the month of Feb, because I think your, your energy is very inward focused, Aquarius, in the month of February when it comes to love. In the recent past, in terms of your experience with love, I think you were perhaps in a committed relationship or you are in a committed relationship or for some of you, perhaps you've been really really busy with work which has not allowed you a lot of time to really focus on your long-term stability or building a long-term partnership with someone for the ones who are already in a healthy committed relationship it, this card means that you've been focusing on spending time with your family but you've also been pretty busy focusing on your coin and long-term stability uh, so take this as a general reading so you'll know what messages apply to your situation your expectation in love for the month of Feb is that you want to be yourself, right? Which is the star energy, which is the Aquarian card of the tarot. This is also an energy that maybe some of you are hoping for a certain outcome with someone or in a certain situation. And you're hoping that your wish comes true in February. Something that you're hoping for, we'll get some clarifiers and see what this means. What's around you in terms of influences and things that you could work with? I do... I do see a potential soulmate in your environment, Aquarius. But I think you are in this hangman energy in the month of Feb, which is what I was saying with the Queen of Swords. I think you're still doing that inner thinking and inner work. And I think you're trying to get a different perspective on love. Maybe you've always looked at love in a certain way. This month, in the month of Feb, you will try and look at life from a different perspective. You'll try and see if your way of thinking about love has been working out for you or not and if it is then great and if it isn't you won't shy away from asking yourself some big questions on why maybe some of you have come out of something in the recent past and therefore this has made you ponder as to why it didn't work out what do I need to change about my life so it doesn't happen again something like that because you keep looking over your shoulder this is why I was talking about the past. I think maybe some of you were in a relationship in the past that hasn't worked out and you're constantly looking back or you're strategizing maybe how you can make this work. Maybe some of you want to give it another shot or some of you are simply, you know, unfortunately, I'm getting this message that 
you might have self sabotaged the situation or somebody else might have sabotaged the connection um or there is a watch out for you to not do that because there's a potential soulmate in your energy one message for you aquarius is don't self sabotage and don't you know push this connection away but obviously you know you always have free will so if this is a month where you just want to focus on work and you want to focus on getting clear about your energies then that's also fine of course it's your life but i'm just telling you the energies that exist around you the likely outcome is that i think something starts to work or you want to make something work or it, it could simply mean that you're very very focused on your professional life on your career there is some kind of conflict um in your heart aquarius like you do feel conflicted between something even though you are putting in the effort towards work or something um you you have this little bit of internal conflict when it comes to love so let's get your clarifiers because i'm very curious as to what's going on let's uh build further on this so why is the 10 of pentacles here we've got the lovers why is the star here Ten of Wands, the Two of Cups. We are seeing the Seven of Swords again. The Hangman, King of Swords. You're showing up pretty strong in your own energy. Eight of Cups for the Seven of Swords, and the outcome: Three of Pentacles, the Devil. Give me one more on that Devil. The Star. Wow, this is a very clear patterns in your reading. And how will the outcome make you feel? Knight of Swords. Four of Swords, <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. You're making me laugh, Aquarius, because your reading is—it's uh, cute. It's—it's it's cute, and and I'll tell you why I laugh. It's very—you're uh, showing me what your conflict is very clearly. <laughs> so uh, good for me as a tarot reader. I, I can decode these messages fairly easily. So. In the recent past, Aquarius, definitely there was um, a soulmate connection or a relationship for some of you, and you had a choice uh, what to do with this partnership. And I see that some of you walked away from someone; something came to an end. That is definitely one story for a group of you watching. Your expectation coming out of this situation, and in general, your past experiences in love, you feel quite burdened by love. You feel quite weighed down by love. By the way, Scorpio had a very similar. reading as well so you if you have scorpio placements in your chart or you're dealing with a scorpio you might want to watch their reading as well because they had this similar energy of feeling really weighed down by love um and feeling like it's never going to work out and i think you are kind of showing me the same story that bases what has happened to you up until now in your life when it comes to love or you could be in a stable happy relationship but your expectation is that you know somewhere this is going to weigh you down or somewhere this is going to limit you or somewhere this is going to demand a lot out of you and you're not sure if you have the energy to do this uh this is the kind of message that i'm getting you have a soulmate like i was telling you before in your surroundings in your environment or there's a relationship or the potential of a relationship in your environment but you aquarius are in this hangman position you're not really taking action on this particular situation or this particular connection because i think maybe this is a very specific message maybe for some of you the person that you were dealing with was not honest with you uh, or you were not honest about your feelings or about what this relationship meant for you or the other person and therefore somebody decided to disconnect from this connection and somebody moved on or walked away could be you or this could be the person in question or another way to look at this is that some of you are deciding to move away from anything that sabotages potential connection so some of you through this hangman kind of energy will soon realize in the month of feb where you perhaps self sabotaged a good connection and you want to make sure that you move on from this kind of toxic behavior or anything that is not serving you in the likely outcome aquarius i see you being very very attached to work so i think some of you are trying to drown out love by just focusing on work i see some others of you wanting to heal uh, something that was very toxic with this devil energy so the star card can often mean that you're hoping or hoping to heal or hoping for something to work out in your favor uh i see that energy i think you want to make something work with someone maybe you're dealing with a capricorn maybe you're dealing with another aquarius um but there is this desire to want to move on from anything that 
stifled the situation or stifled you or the self sabotage self limiting beliefs or doubts there is this hope to make it work once again and but what's happening is that this is you can perhaps heal through this but you're still showing me that you're going to be conflicted even if it does work out you're constantly going to think about whether you should have run towards the situation or you should have held back and just focused on work or should you have focused on making this work or should you have taken a step back so there is a conflict and that conflict continues to be in the month of february um aquarius and of course you know we'll do our bi-weekly readings as well so we'll get more information there but at least what i see today on the 31st of jan is when i'm recording this i see that even though you're hoping that you can heal through a toxic situation and even if it does get corrected you are still going to feel conflicted whether you did the right thing or not so therefore aquarius i'm really glad that you're focusing on this queen of swords you're focusing on your inner sort of you're going inwards with this nine of cups you're thinking about what truly makes you happy what keeps you fulfilled and you continue that journey with this hanged man well into february as well you know i think most of this month for you is not so much about taking action it's about contemplating and reflecting um show me a little bit more on this outcome of the devil the three of pentacles the star yeah i think some of you are almost addicted to work like almost don't want to give up on just working like endless hours because that helps you not think about a difficult situation in your love life or some of you have been so wounded and so weighed down in love right with this ten of wands that you just want to like not think about love this this month though i think you might not act on love but i do think that you're thinking about it even though you might try to like you know drown out love by working crazy hours love will find you or you will at least start to have um those reflections and introspection on what happened in the recent past so show me the result we saw a little bit of conflict right between going forward or holding back the tower hmm what else the four of swords again and the five of pentacles again so i have a feeling aquarius that feb is going to be an important month for you when it comes to your overall relationship with the concept of love i think any foundation that is shaky or any beliefs that actually are not based in fact for you or you think that you want xyz but you always act in an abc manner i think you get real with yourself this month and figure out what exactly is not working therefore where does this tower need to be sort of you know collapsed what belief systems have to be collapsed because they don't work for you anymore you i do see a lot of healing with this four of swords you will take a step back from anything this could also be a sudden ending that happened in the recent past see because i told you that some of you are hoping that you can get over the toxicity of a situation but unfortunately aquarius for some of you maybe it might not work out and you will let the tower collapse and you will let a situation go it will make you feel a little bit isolated unhappy left out in the cold but i do see you start to heal through that with the four of swords so this is an interesting month aquarius i think big shifts underway you're going inwards this is more about an internal dialogue on the concept of love for you this month let me get you some romance angels do leave me a comment uh, in the comment section below and tell me how this reading resonated show me what the romance angels have for aquarius unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so i do think that some of you decide to move away when you do your introspection you come to the conclusion that this is not for you so you will move away from something which will make you feel a little bit sad and make you feel a bit lonely detached from the person that you care about but you know in the end you do start to heal because you do start to examine what's truly bothering you or what's not working we've got trust this situation is calling you for is calling for you to have faith so for some of you who do decide to make it work you start to put in more trust and belief in that and finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now 
soulmate yes this is your soulmate so maybe some of you needed this confirmation um some see because there is this heavy element of work in your love reading so i definitely think that some of you are trying to just not think about love in the month of feb and simply focus on your work because maybe there is some financial issue that you're going through right now maybe you're a little bit short on money um yeah things seem a little bit tight or something has happened in your career a sudden change that you know you didn't see it coming so your energy and your mind is a lot more focused on work in the month of february but i do hope aquarius that you continue to do that inner work and you continue to ask yourself those questions and get real as to what is it that you truly want to manifest in your love life so that's what i have for you for the month of feb please do leave me a comment and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel take care bye bye